Yo, what up? It's your boy, Wendy J. Stone, a.k.a. O-Doctor. And uh, sorry I left you for a little while. I uh, had to travel for a little bit of work that I didn't plan on doing. And then I got home and I had my Ultra here I had to set up. I got a new uh, camera that I had to set up. I got a new microphone. I'm broke and I'm done spending money <laughs> until the summertime. Uh, but today, I'm here to make one video about this uh, Mac Studio. I know you've seen a million of them. I know everybody's making eight and nine of them. I'm going to make one video. I made one other video saying how much I love this laptop and how much I believed in uh, the M1 because of the Mac Mini once it finally got stuff situated with it. But first of all, let me preface this by saying I am not a Mac fanboy. I jumped off the Mac bandwagon a while ago. I ranted about it. Hey, uh, real quick, I'm editing this video and I realize that I'm about to sound like a fanboy. Let me tell you two things. One, I'm gonna play this clip from 2016. Uh, after I do this rant about how I realized Apple was not doing anything great, I built a new PC, I built another PC. So for from 2016 until now, I've been building my own PCs and apparently that's gonna change. But uh, enjoy the clip, enjoy the rant. If you do enjoy the rant, uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment, tell me if you want me yelling again, because I don't mind doing it. I love doing it, actually. And I miss Baratunde so much, and uh, Georgia Dow is the greatest, and uh, obviously, Leo is great, too. Uh, but yeah, check out this rant real quick, and just remember this when you're watching what I tell you about the Apple stuff afterwards. Just how I feel. Just how I feel. That's it. All right. Enjoy. Later. So I asked Kyle, uh, well, doesn't Apple recycle these? Because you're supposed to bring your old stuff back to Apple. He said, I know the recycler that Apple uses. And oh. no. And wow. so, so here's the issue. That's a crime. Man. Going forward, I think we as consumers, for our own benefit, because replaceable batteries are good for us. It keeps electronics lasting longer. If you have a cell phone with a replaceable battery, you can put a second battery in. And it's good for the environment. Shouldn't we start demanding not thinner and lighter, but removable batteries and recycling? First of I, all, I, I, oh, go ahead, oh doctor. Sorry. Oh doctor. First of all, I hate this new laptop. I hate this new direction that a Apple is going into. They're not going into the the Pro series when people used to create content. Now they want a Pro series for you to consume. Yeah, this is content. basically an, and, an iPad with so a keyboard. Well put. Can you and, just repeat so, that, oh doctor? I want to take these people to church. Can you repeat that? Preach, oh they, doctor. So, first of all, uh, let me just—I'm gonna just go, and then I'm gonna stop. You make a laptop with only C ports in it, and then you put a headphone jack in it. After you just told me that you were magically getting rid of my headphone jack that I try to put into this iPhone 7 Plus repeatedly. Now, why is it in that, and you can't have a way for me to just plug my phone into my laptop and charge it when I'm on the go and I got stuff to do? And instead, now I have to pull out this dongle and look like a doofus. But you couldn't put an SD card reader in it because you told me aerodynamics. And I'm thinking, this dongle is aerodynamic? Everything is wrong with this thing. You told me, I, have, did you, you see know, the DJ another, with the little scroll bar? No, don't let, I'm not done. Did you see the DJ with a stupid little scroll bar? I got any professional knows how to use the function keys to get around any of these pro tools that they're using. It's so insane, the things that they're doing. I never miss Steve Jobs. I thought to myself, he's a man I ain't never met. I don't need him, but I miss him so much because it's so ridiculous, the stupid stuff <sighs> that they're doing. And if you wanted my grandma to have a MacBook Pro, then maybe you shouldn't charge $3,000 for it, you <laughs> stupid doofus. I don't need it, and it makes me so mad because I need a new computer, and I'm going to have to go back to Microsoft because they're the only ones I Can I tell you something? Did you see oh. that? Sexy 28 inch My. tablet that you can roll down and scroll down and right on with. Where is Apple's innovation? Y'all ain't got no magic. Y'all ain't got no courage. I'm going to stop yelling because people get mad because I yell on the show. But I hate it so much. It makes me so you know, sad. Can we just, please, junk. Leo, Leo, don't just, we need a moment. We just need a moment of silence to appreciate the Bill Cosby mixed with Homer Simpson <laughs> rant that we just heard. Oh my God. It was. That was the most beautiful thing I've heard on this show in years. Oh, Doctor, I want to find you and hug you, but I know you're in a non-disclosed black site operated by the city. I don't want to find you. That was amazing. 
<laughs> Dude, it, it hurts my heart. I need to spend three Gs on a laptop, and I can't bring myself to do it. I need one, and I can't do it right now because I'm so upset. And I don't want to go back to Microsoft. I dumped her a long time ago. But now she out here looking sexy to put on a cute dress and lost 50 pounds. <laughs> I, I <still> back. So <laughs> <laughs> I might be becoming a fanboy. This laptop is impeccable. This laptop um, is the 16-inch um, M1 Pro Max. It's just 32 gigs. It's a beast. For what I do, uh, for what most people do, um, uh, especially video-wise, like it just churns through 8K, no problem. 4K, a breeze. Everything about it is snappy. I probably shouldn't have gotten the 16 because it's so heavy and taking it around now that I have this, but it's just a workhorse machine and you couldn't ask for anything else better for the, well, I, over, I, I spent too much money. I probably didn't need this configuration. Um, there's like 10 grand right here and it's too much money. But M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max, M1 Ultra, for a really long time, Apple has tried to sell us on magic. They say that it's thinner, better, magical. Like they say the Apple Pencil was magic. Nothing they have ever created until now is magic. These processors, this, the onboard memory, the onboard graphics, everything in here, this is magic. That's what the M stands for, magic. They finally, they're not saying it now, but they finally have created magical machines. This, this is, if you're a regular person, like a kid, this is great. They're going to upgrade this prize at M2. They're already leaking about it. But this is fine. This is fine. It, it didn't work for me, but it's fine. Like, it's good. Um, with uh, 16 gigs of RAM in it, uh, terabyte storage, it's fine. This is a beast. This is, this is impressive. This is a, all you could want and need as a creator, a content creator, as a prosumer. This, I realized I didn't probably need the Ultra. I didn't need to have 128 uh, gigs of RAM. I, but, man, other than FOMO for whatever else they create with M2 and M3 and M9, and M, this is the best computer I've had owned in, since I built my last computer when I switched from Apple. When I switched from Apple and I built my own computer with a Threadripper and 128 gigs of RAM in it, and I kept upgrading video cards until I got to a 3080. I thought that, that was like the best I could get. And again, I built it myself. Um, so the cost was, you know, three, four thousand, not crazy. This cost about five thousand with all the upgrades and everything like that. Um, I did check out my friend's base model, and I could have gotten away with the base model with more, with maybe 32 gigs of RAM. I mean, 64 gigs of RAM. And, uh, you know, more hard drive space because I got more hard drive space in this too. But I don't do enough hardcore work to put this through his paces. The reason people bought this and you've seen the reviews, they say, oh, the Ultra is not that much different than the Max. It's because you're not doing graphics. You're not doing labor intensive stuff. Like this, this is, this is, this is amazing. This is magical. This is powerful. Um, the only problems I have is I wish it had the faster SD card reader in it, but I have an adapter for that for transferring uh, stuff faster. Uh, I, I wish the HDMI cable was better because I have a 55 inch uh, QLED TV and the, the, it's not the upgraded HDMI, so it's not full on my monitor and I've got to like adjust it to make it work, but that's nitpicking uh, because everything else on this, I know I can't open it. I know I can't change it. I know, I know, I know, I know but I'm thoroughly impressed. Like, I, I don't know. The, this this is, has me excited for the future and everybody else has got to find a way to catch up. And I don't know if they can because no one runs their company like Apple runs their company. So it's not even fair to judge a Dell or a HP or a anyone. Else. Who, who else? could do top to bottom control over everything. Nobody. So they really got to join forces. Like, I don't know what Intel's going to do. I don't, I, 
AMD, again, I'm, I, I was an AMD fanboy, and I still am, because uh, AMD for the price, oh man, they're giving you so much power for the price on their processors. But uh, this, let's, let's put it this way. I could do 8K on my PC that's like maxed out, but reviewing the footage was hard unless I did proxies. This, even if I don't shoot in ProRes, which I can now because I have the Ninjas set up, but I've got the RC and I'm just using Canon's stock video footage. Even with Canon's footage, uh, their processes, which is labor intensive and it's a horrible codec and people don't like it, but sometimes I just want to be native and not have to adjust things. This turns it out like butter. It just cuts right through it. It's, it's impressive. And I, for the money you spend, you could buy the $2,000 version. I would never buy the exact $2,000 version. You have to upgrade the, the hard drive in this because the, the, your transfer rates and everything will slow down if you only have 512. So you at least got to get a terabyte. But with the Thunderbolt drives in the back, it's like that, you can add infinite more hard drive space and it's fast. I edited on uh, Premiere Pro via uh, Thunderbolt drives and USB drives and edited right from the drive. No problem, no qualms. It just worked. And I love it. I'm so, I'm so mad at myself for loving these machines, but they're just impressive. They're just impressive. Top to bottom, I might have to... Uh, switch out from my PC lifestyle. I, I've got everything loaded up on here. I can do everything on here now, almost everything. Uh, I'm gonna try and give myself the next two weeks to only touch this and not touch my PC, and then I'll figure out where I'm going with it. I probably won't make another video about that because I'm gonna get back into doing news and I got a couple of other items that I just got in that I wanna review uh, separately. But when I'm reviewing stuff, I'm just talking to you. I'm just telling you how I feel about it. Because there's too many people doing benchmark tests and that kind of stuff. Again, uh, for somebody who's just turning out video and uh, audio projects, <laughs> this is more than I'll ever need. Not ever need, because <clears throat> I'm, I'm a crazy person and I like buying stuff. This is th I shouldn't have to upgrade this for another two or three years at all without feeling bad about myself, because these cameras aren't going to be going anywhere. So what I have right now works on this and I'm impressed. I'm happy. Uh, my wallet, my, my credit cards. Well, my credit cards are really happy. I got, got a lot of Sky Miles out of these things. But uh, my bank account wasn't happy when I had to pay off the credit cards. But either way, get yourself one of these machines. Or if, you, if you're patient, wait and get the M2 version of this, which I'm sure will be out and be great. Uh, I regret telling any of my friends to buy the iMac. Oh, speaking of the iMac. Again, because I don't feel like making another video. I do not think that Apple's monitor is worth that money. Now, for me personally, I own the old 27 inch uh, monitor from Apple and th that monitor is over 10 years old. It's still going strong. I use it in my kitchen with my other Mac mini, my Mac mini Intel server. Uh, I think it's the 2019 edition. I just keep all my music and stuff on there and like movies and stuff. So we, we're sitting there at dinner, we watch movies and things like that, stream off of it. And that monitor is still holding up, still works great. Speakers still work, everything's great. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I probably paid too much for it. But the new monitor, I'm sure that thing would last me another 10 years. But I want, I want to mount my monitor to the wall. I want to have options to put her on a stand or put her on a decimal stand. So for me, I'd be spending $2,000, and then if I change my mind, which I often do, I'd have to take it in Apple and have them unmount it, remount it, restand it, unstand it, remount it, back mount it, and for $2,000, that's not worth it to me. I can't justify spending that money on that monitor. Uh, I've got a 5K monitor, the LG, it's fine. I've got a 4K Samsung, it's fine, and I'm happy with that. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if I need to give me an 8K TV. You know what I'm saying? I'm, not that I'm editing anything. I, I shoot stuff in, four, in 8K, but I'm always rendering it down to 4K anyway. So I don't need 8K TV. I'm just talking myself out of it. But again, that monitor, beautiful. If you got the money, buy it. But not being able to adjust it, Apple it just is so terrible at nickel and diamond people instead of just giving them the value that they deserve to have the value and have some kind of flexibility and options, some kind of choice. Being able to mount your monitor by yourself shouldn't be a big deal. Even if you made your own 
hexagonal, tripinal, whatever ad ad adapters to make it so you can only use their bracket, I'd be fine with that. But the fact that I gotta take it into them and bring it back, it upsets me and it makes me unhappy. So I will not be buying the monitor unless I freak out and lose my mind and buy it because sometimes I do that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, buy one of these. If you don't, go to one of your friend's houses and play with it. That's what I did. My other buddy has the base model and uh, it was churning out a lot of the same stuff that I was doing anyway, so. <sighs> I'm your boy over JJ still making a doctor. It's magical. M M1, M M1 Ultra, M1 Pro Max, M1 period. It's magic. That's all I can say about it. What do you think? I'm out. Chat, how about that? Okay. That's O Doctor. Owen oh, JJ Stone. Love having you on the show and love the rants, my friend. What was love it? You what too. was it, Baratunde? The Simpsons meet. I feel like <laughs> there was a there was a heavy Bill Cosby, but there was a little bit of there was a little bit of Homer Simpson. There was a little why you little like there was that going on too. And then I mean there was there was like a there was a get off my lawnness to it. There was like it's a so back beautiful. in my day. We yeah. used to have an ice man with a carriage, <laughs> with a carriage of chisel, and now the ice just comes out of my freezer magically. I don't trust this ice. Why can't I get ice the old-fashioned way? Like it was an eighty percent on point, but there was like thirteen percent. Like I think you're probably wrong, but I just I'm going to go with you because I'm already. Yeah, when I make up stuff, it sounds good though, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no I'm hard numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Eighty-three percent and ninety-two percent of the stuff I say is hundred percent legit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also.